Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the mystery of Easter Island. Now we know what you're thinking. Oh great, another boring history lesson about some ancient civilization. But trust me, this one is different. This one is special, because this one involves giant stone heads. But before we get into the giant stone heads, let's talk about the island itself. The Easter Island, also known as Rapa Nui, is a small island located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It's so remote that the nearest inhabited island is over 1000 miles away. So imagine being stranded on a deserted island with nothing but a bunch of chickens and giant stone heads for company. That's the Easter Island. The name Easter Island is derived from the day of its discovery, which happened to be Easter Sunday. The Dutch explorer Jacob Rajuin and his crew were the first Europeans to come across this island. Now on to the giant stone heads. These things are massive. We're talking up to 30 feet tall and weighing over 80 tons. And for a reference, that's the size of a small apartment building. Or your mom. <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah. Don't worry Jimmy, there's no eye following you. They can't even walk. Well actually, they can. See, for the longest time, scientists tried to wrap their heads around how the Rapa Nui people moved Moai from their quarry to their final resting place. Well, long story short, thanks to this guy, this lady, bunch of our people and Rapa Nui oral tradition, we now know that Moai were most likely walked using a combination of ropes and good old manpower. They would wrap the figure with ropes and use them to rock the statue back and forth by having groups of people pulling it from side to side, creating a walking motion. And it's not just the size of the heads that's a mystery, it's also the number of them. There are over 900 of them on the island. Now you might say, these people were stupid, how could you possibly value something that's poorly made, just sits there and brings no actual value to your life? And to that I would say... But perhaps the biggest question of all is why they even bothered to create these heads in the first place. The Rapa Nui people do have their own explanations and traditions surrounding the Moai, but these were largely passed down through oral history and were not recorded in writing until the European explorers pulled up. As a result, much of what we know about the Moai comes from the perspectives of outsiders rather than the Rapa Nui themselves. Some say that they were built as a religious symbols, some say they were meant to represent their ancestors. But my theory is that they just got bored, had nothing better to do and so just decided to build some giant stone heads. I mean, what else could you do living on a deserted island in the middle of the ocean? Sure, you can go fishing, you can sleep, or play with the chickens. But after a while even that becomes dull. So the boys gather up to goof a bit. What happened to the Rapa Nui people? Well, the collapse of the Rapa Nui civilization has been attributed to a combination of factors, including environmental degradation, although I would say that perhaps it wouldn't have been such a problem if they didn't use all the remaining trees to build 900 freaking stone heads lack of resources, social and political unrest, and outside interference. In the 19th century, the Rapa Nui people were taken as slaves by Peruvian slave traders and subjected to forced labor and other forms of exploitation. Which I find ironic since Peruvians complain so much about having been enslaved by the Spanish. Later, the island was annexed by Chile. Over the years, the natives of the island were subjected to policies of forced assimilation that tried to suppress their language and culture. In recent decades, the Rapa Nui people have made efforts to reclaim their cultural heritage and have their language and culture taught in schools. So here you go my wondrous little explorers. That's the mystery of Easter Island. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember, if you ever want to see a bunch of stoneheads everywhere you turn, be sure to visit the mysterious Easter Island. Or just go to LA. Subscribe if you want to see more and see you soon.